God is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And as I was pondering today on this fact that He is the Alpha and that in the beginning was the Word and we know that this Word became flesh and dwelt among us, I cannot help but think of the fact that not only is He the author and finisher of our faith, but also our life. All things came to existence by His Word and upheld together by His Word. And before the world came into existence, he determined that there would be a purpose for this world, that the earth is his and the fullness thereof, and all they that dwell thereon. And we are to understand that he created all things by him and unto him. All things were created by him to glorify him, and he made you to glorify him. Understanding this, he says that we are his workmanship. We are in fact his masterpiece, made and formed by the Spirit in the depths of the earth. And out of all the things created, we are still a work in progress. Why? This is because of sin. We are born in sin, as David says in Psalm 51, that in sin his mother conceived him. But no, that sin does not have the final say in the workmanship of his hands. And so he determined the beginning and the end of all things of your life. He determined how all things would shape you, whether heartache or joy. He is the beginning of every talent, dream, and all that makes you who you are today. And the truth is, when we look to ourselves, we think he sure has his work cut out for him. But what joy he takes in forming us, having known us before the foundation of this earth. What joy it is for him to nurture our faith in him in all things. And that his promise to us is, Just as surely as I am creating a new heaven and a new earth, you too are a new creation being formed by my hands and by my word. Therefore, I will perfect that which concerns you because you are my workmanship, which I have predetermined to walk in my ways. He's not confounded or put back by our struggles, but rather as a skilled and master workman, he and the spirit is determined to finish the dream of the father. For all things created by God has its origin in heaven and finds its manifestation on this earth. Therefore, before you were formed in your mother's womb, you were on his mind. Before any manifestation of who you are and will be in him found its inception within the mind and heart of God, that which originated in the heart of the Father is you. The commitment that the Trinity has in you as their workmanship is not altered or shaken by where you are at in your walk. Nothing will stop them from perfecting that which they started in you. God never starts a work which he does not intend to finish. Therefore, take hope, dear one, for you do not see what he has built in you with the naked eye. There are things he has done in you that has stretched you, strengthened you, and caused you to endure more than what you could do before. Faithful is he towards his workmanship, for we, are ma- for we are made to glorify him. And he will not give up on you. He will not stop just because you want to give up. He will continue to draw you, challenge you, stretch you, and make you a vessel fit for the master's use, for you belong to him. Who you are is far more than what you can see. It's through dust like us that he is determined to rule and reign. Father, I pray that those who listen to this message will be richly encouraged to keep on going and to understand that the value that you place on them is something that originated and find its inception in heaven and is divine. We are more than what we see in the mirror, and we are more than our perceived ideas of ourselves. We were made by you and for you, unto you, to glorify you, and you will perfect that which you've started. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you.